The topic of this video is properties of inequalities. We begin with the non-negative property. For any real number a, a squared is greater than or equal to zero. Let's talk about why this property makes sense. When you square something, you're multiplying it by itself. Real numbers come in three basic varieties, the positives, the negatives, and zero. What happens when you square a positive? A positive squared is a positive, which is greater than or equal to zero. What happens when you square a negative? A negative squared is also a positive, which is greater than or equal to zero. What happens when you square zero? Zero squared is zero, which is greater than or equal to zero. So whenever you square a real number, the result will either be zero or greater. A squared is greater than or equal to zero. All right, the next properties we're going to talk about are the addition properties of inequalities. For real numbers a, b, and c, if a is less than b, then a plus c is less than b plus c. If a is greater than b, then a plus c is greater than b plus c. What this says is that when you begin with an inequality statement, such as a less than b or a greater than b, if you add or subtract a number on both sides, the direction or sense of the inequality symbol is preserved. Less than stays as less than. Greater than stays as greater than. Next, multiplication properties for inequalities. For real numbers a, b, and c, if a is less than b, and if c is greater than zero, then ac is less than bc. Let's talk about what this means. If you begin with a mathematical statement, a is less than b, and then you multiply both sides of that statement by c, where c is a positive number, then the sensor direction of the inequality symbol is preserved. You don't swap the sign. However, starting with that same inequality statement, if a is less than b, and if c is less than zero, then AC would be greater than BC. Said another way, if you start with the statement A is less than B, and you multiply both sides by C, where C is a negative value, less than zero, then you must swap the sensor direction of the inequality symbol. All right, let's look at the next pair of properties. If A is greater than B, and if C is greater than zero, then AC is greater than BC. But if A is greater than B, and if c is less than zero, then ac is less than bc. Now, that's a lot of symbology, so let's see if we can summarize all four of these statements efficiently. Whenever you have an inequality statement, if you multiply or divide by a negative, you must swap the direction or sense of the inequality symbol. For example, greater than might become less than, or less than or equal to might become greater than or equal to. Finally, we discuss the reciprocal property for inequalities. If a is greater than zero, then its reciprocal, one over a, will also be greater than zero. The reverse of this is also true. If one over a is greater than zero, then the reciprocal of one over a, which is a, is greater than zero. Similarly, if a is less than zero, then its reciprocal is less than zero. And if one over a is less than zero, then a is less than zero. These properties will help us solve problems.